Hey guys, welcome back to Spirit Fair. It's been a while since I uploaded a Spirit Fair video, but as always, we start every up with a daffodil hug. Hello, what do you want? You got something new here? Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. Got a new errand just for you, fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. Um, that one. I need some pears, I think. Noodle soup. Okay. Actually, do I have any fun stuff to sell? Um, and by fun stuff, I mean stuff I can't use anywhere else. I guess that was it. Not really. Okay. Let's wake everybody up. Uh, since I last uploaded an episode, we've had some more DLC. The final Spirit Bearer DLC come out. Uh, although I didn't start the third one yet. So that's what I'm going to be working on now, is the the Beverly DLC. And we're headed to go find her. After we see what's up with Bruce and Mickey, you gotta show us what you're made of. You gotta... Hmm. You gotta go fight some pulsar rays. Yeah. Good idea, Mickey. He wants to see you get in a fight. There should be some around here. Make it happen. Okie dokie. I'm pretty sure I just need- I'm gonna need to feed everyone. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna feed everyone some basic stuff, cuz... You guys are gonna want some food, right? You guys are picky, though. Okay, apparently I don't remember. Whoops. Hey, so let me tell you something. This shit is just too simple. One damn ingredient? Who do you think we are? Dumb peasants? Goddamn low lives? My brother here has standards. We won't accept this crap. Okay, oops. I didn't mean to give that to him, but... Um... How about this? Oh no, seafood. They don't... <laughs> Um, well, shucks. How about a cherry pie? Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Giving you a nice little hug. Okie dokie. Ooh. This is pretty. I mean, it's all very pretty. I'm just gonna stop by real quick. Cause my real, the real destination I wanna go to is Oxbury. Cause that is where we're gonna find Beverly. What's up? Where is that man? You're the delivery person. No. You're just a random paparazzo who wants paparazzo who wants my autograph? No. Well, whoever could you possibly be? Oh, that person. This is gonna be the actress that uh goes to be in the movie. Alright. Great. Oh, I gotta go in here. It's locked. It's locked too. Can't jump on these guys? Come on. Oh, this is a small uh, island. Just a little island. You stole the bathroom key. Oh gosh. You're a mess. 
I live in that building right there. It's pretty fancy. You're pro you probably could have guessed by my haircut. There ain't no five cent hairstyling. I got this at a world renowned salon. It was pretty expensive. I've traveled the whole world to get amazing haircuts. They've all been worth it. That's just how much I love my precious hair. Um, good for you. Oh, I guess we can give this a try. I don't seem to be able to not get a very good bounce off of this. I guess I don't have the bounce ability yet. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to come back here. But at least I got a request advanced. I'm gonna try and run into some pulsar rays. Which I think... Oh, I got mail. Uh... Are these? I think these... Let me see. Meteor shower. Pulsar rays. There we go. Yep, we're gonna go right in here. And we're gonna check the mail. A letter from Beverly. Ooh. Uh, when you have a chance, can you drop by my apartment in Oxbury? I have a few questions I need to ask you. Yep, already on the way. Sort of. We're taking a little detour to get some pulsar ingots. But then we'll be right over. Oh, you hungry? Let me give you a big old... Uh, southern boil. <laughs> and I, I assume you're starving. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Just a simple salad. Mm -hmm. Alright, bud. Are you ready for a real fight? They'll be coming from all directions. So get your head in the game. Don't chicken out. Just charge at them. Don't be a coward. Okay, I don't remember how this one goes. Oh, I just gotta not be a dummy. Like what I'm doing right now. There we go. Come here. Come back here. Ugh. Oh boy. Come back. No, I'm gonna miss this one too. Wow, that was rude. Um, well, I think I've still gotten a good chunk of this stuff. Come here. Ooh, really? None of There we go. Not. Excuse me. <laughs> So rude. Okay. I think that's the end of the little pulsar event. How many did I get? Eleven? That's decent. Did you see that, Mickey? You kicked Major Bud out there. You know what? He finally found a good nickname for you. So you're getting promoted. You're going from kid to scout. Do you like it? Of course you do. Who doesn't like scout? No one. That's who. That doesn't mean you can slack off. You're still under us in the hierarchy of life. Now scram. We've got things to do. 
I got things to do too, actually. Um, like, go right the heck to Oxbury and through a meteor shower. Maybe smelt some pulsar while we're at it. I have a feeling we're gonna need more than. Okay, yep. Another one? Or are we good? No, we're good. Ooh, this is a tricky one. Well, not too tricky. We're just gonna have to keep running back and forth for this one. Oh, while being really careful not to overheat it. Almost there. There we go. Good stuff. Who wants to chat? You guys want to chat? Take a walk with us. Hmm. But there's a meteor shower. Where are we going? Are you gonna request some stuff? I don't wanna miss the meteor shower. This is my favorite event. Where are you going? <laughs> Ooh. Wait, I wanted to do this. Ooh. Open your eyes real big. This is a comet shower. Doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? And it's only mildly dangerous. Yes, of course you could lose a limb or two. But what is a wound in the face of such splendor? What is physical pain when you can have the thrill of your life? In addition, you might even get some comet rocks out of it. Isn't this miraculous? So what do you say, Bambina? Don't worry, I'll watch you from just a bit further away. One can't be too careful, right? Aha, uh -huh, have fun! Alright, give me the... Give me the meteors. Give them to- oh my goodness! It's- it, it really is pretty, and it's got my favorite, uh music. Gosh, I, lo I look how I love how they look like rainbow ground fireworks. They just look so pretty. This is, in a, in a very cool game, one of the cooler things. Wow. It's just stunning. Very beautiful. And uh, now back to our, your regu regularly scheduled Spirit pairing. I'm gonna pull out some fire glow. Plant some more stuff. I think I needed like a ton of fire glow. I don't know, maybe? Who wants to chat now? Is my, my ship's going? Well, well. Oh, now it's not. 
You did great, Peanut. I know it sounds silly, but I've always loved a tricky situation. The lights, the sounds, the thrill. Gotta admit, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Running around, not knowing if you'll still be breathing the next minute. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit, Bambina. I knew you had it in you. You're a natural. I love you so much, I could eat you up. Now run along, little rascal. Haha. <laughs> okay, man. Are y'all ready? Y'all are ready. Got some tea leaves. I'm gonna plant some more sunflower seeds, cause why not? And apparently some coffee too. Um, I think I've gotten used to. My dad always makes half calf coffee, and I think I've just gotten used to drinking it in the morning instead of the full caffeinated that I make, because. I made fully, fully caffeinated coffee this morning, and I'm feeling jittery. Which doesn't normally happen to me unless I've had like a couple espresso shots and a cold brew. I've actually come down off of it a bit, but this I still feel like, whew, we've been going. Okay, are there any things that I can do now that I have some more materials. I know you want the picture frame, we need comet powder, and ash planks. I, we do gotta find the ash planks, but at least I have the comet. Um, I guess I need a crusher to get powder. Do I have a blueprint for a crusher? Oh yeah, ash planks. That's the thing I need. Got the pulsar ingots. I need zinc and ash planks. I can track this. Yeah, just need to get to figure out where the ash planks are. We should probably be in ash plank territory. But I'll go ahead and put some... Zinc in here. Oh man, no, this one's got a tiny window. Although, this doesn't do very much here, so I think we're good. And that should do it. Okie dokie. Um, I'm just gonna nap off the rest of this night so we can get straight on to Oxbury. Whoops. Nighty night. Wakey wakey everyone. Ding 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 ding. Potato seed, wheat seed, mulberry seed, beef, pork, chicken, egg. Those are the shop specialties. Ooh, what's down here? Amortown Park. Ooh. I have a feeling there probably there might be ash trees here actually. How much I want to see the map expansion. Oh yeah. Overbrook. Yeah, all right. What's up, guys? What do you see here? Nothing. You've got nothing on this boat. It makes Mickey sick. You need to shape up, you hear? Let's build something that'll really make a mark on this ship. What is it? Good idea, Mickey. You need a crusher. 
We need to smash some rocks into oblivion. Yeah. Don't worry. Even a chump like you can do it. Go. What are you waiting for? Um, to get the proper resources. Oh, are you coming with me, huh? I guess you did ask to come- did you- is that what you actually asked for? In the walk? To go to Ag Oxbury? <laughs> Build the crusher is my current. Objective. What is up, guys? This is our town. Get out of our way, you. Hey. We're the dice boys, and when we roll, we roll hard. Hard! Nothing. You've never heard of the dice boys? That doesn't make any sense. We've been out here grinding and dicing for years. Spreading the word. Expanding the brand. I don't think you heard the name right. It's the dice boys. Don't get it twisted. Twisted! We've been out here on these streets day and night rapping. Saying rhymes into the mic to make sure it chimes. Breaking your neck like we in a like we in big tech? Nada. Wow. You must be out of it then. Listen, to redeem yourself from that pitiful lack of culture, you can do us a solid. Here are a few copies of our new record. Warning, sacred dog. You just need to go and deliver them to our street team members. Don't worry, it shouldn't be that long. Here, write this down so you don't forget. The dice never stops, that's why price never drops. Get out of here and sling those records. Okay, you heckin' weirdo. Can I? Can I? Please? Oh, oh, I actually made it and I goofed it up. Oh. Sometimes these controls are a little tough. <gasps> Can you give me a hand, neighbor? I seem to have lost my keys again. They can't be that far. If I don't find them quickly, my ice cream will melt. Then we'll have quite the mess. Aware oh, those keys. Look at you, you're not even helping. Well, you did listen to me ramble on. That's something, sweepy. You look like you've seen a ghost. Are you okay? That's too bad. I really wanted to take care of you. That's what neighbors are for, dear. I'd invite you inside, but no keys means no couch. That couch is so comfortable, the pillows are just perfectly lived in. More like stepped on, really. I remember Henry and Sarah jumping up and down on that thing. Once at our old house, Henry fell and hit his head on that glass table. He was screaming at the top of his lungs. There was blood everywhere. On the drive to the hospital, he asked if he was going to die. I couldn't help it, I just started laughing. No, Bumpkin, it's going to be fine. I wish I still lived in that house. I had to sell it when David passed away. Plus, the kids are all living out of town by then. It was too big for little old me. And that lawn. I didn't want to break a sweat every Sunday afternoon mowing the grass. The house, did you know we had it designed? By a professional architect. He was quite the sharp dresser. Always dressed in black with a slick looking mustache. I had a bit of a friendly crush on him. I know, I know. I'm sure if I ran into him, he wouldn't recognize me. Or maybe he would. He did mention he had a photographic memory. You know what? Maybe I should ring him up. Say something like, Dear Anthony, I would very much like to have the original plans for my old house. I lost them in a recent move and would like to have a copy. Could I come over and pick them up? Wait a minute. Even better, you should go see him. See if he's still as gorgeous as in my dreams. If you come back with bad news, that'll save me a trip. His office was somewhere in Hummingburg. I don't know the address. You remember, I lost my purse with my, my, my address book and my mother's brooch. Oh, I don't want to think about it. That brooch was all she talked about. Well, don't just stand there. Go ask around in Hummingbird. With that smile of yours, there's no stopping you. 
Alrighty, I guess I will have to... Oh, are you gonna give me some lemonade? Um... Ew, I need to get some. I need to get the shipment of lemons. Okay. I will go get your lemons. Weird. <laughs> Alright. I think that's all we're gonna do. Uh, we'll, we'll continue checking out Oxbury when we return after our visit to Hummingburg. So I will head back to the ship and see you next time on Spiritfarer. Thanks for watching.